Right, good afternoon folks. Fun Fair Audits coming at you. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing this week. Uh, I've had quite a few. So yeah, thank you. Um, that's just moving around. It's a bit noisy just here. Right, so as you see, we're down in uh, Tembury Wells. It's a fair that I've never been to before. Didn't even know I was coming until last night. Right, Tembury Wells. What can we tell you about Tembury Wells? It was a beautiful drive coming down here. A beautiful rolling countryside. As you see, it's set in quite a nice leafy part as well. We're down on the uh, car park as well, so tarmac. Postcode on this one, WR158SF. And as you see, that's what we like as well, free parking. Now, I don't know whether this is a charter fare or not, but um, certainly Tembury Wells was granted a, a royal charter in the year 1249, where they started to have a market. It's very famous for its um, production of holly and mistletoe at Christmas. In fact, they do have a, an auction uh, at the end of November. Very famous auction. Uh, and they decide what the price is going to be like for this year's crop. Now, as you can imagine, with uh, holly and mistletoe, you've got to have some trees. It's a, a very big growing area for your things like apples, plums, pears, and also a fruit called quince. Now, if you don't know what quince is, it looks like a yellow apple. It isn't an apple, it is just called quince. Uh, you wouldn't want to come scrumping for them, I tell you, they are rock hard. They're as sour as anything. Um, what you find, um, they tend to use them in things like marmalade or alcoholic beverages like cider. You can also make jam with them. So yeah, it's a pretty uh, unique fruit. Are you ready? Yo, 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 yo. Right, yo, 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 are you ready? Here we go, Joseph Danter is the uh, lessee for this map. Let's rock him. Sonic Ace Twister. Joseph Dancer. 2005, this was manufactured. And it looks like Wilson's sobered up. He drew the short straw earlier on. I'm to clean the boats and fun out. The boats he slide. I'll teach you for going out having a curry. Sitting in the pub until four in the morning. Now when this thing gets wrapped up, this is one of the fastest twisters on the circuit. I'm led to believe that for the May Day bank holiday, this will be down in Evesham in Worcestershire. In fact, a few of these rides sound like they might be going down to each of them. Right, let's drag him around. Yeah. 
Your pirate adventure fun house. Joseph Marin. So I've been told. I'm sure it is. Let's go away before I get run over. Loads of fun for everyone! Well, I'm just going to dip the camera down for a second, folks. We're quite busy here. a ride that I wasn't expecting to see. This one was built in America. There aren't many of these in the UK, but I'm only aware of uh, one other. There probably are more, but I've only seen one. It was a company called Rubens. Uh, they're a defunct company now. They started life in uh, 1939. Not sure how old this one is, however. Made its first appearance in the UK in the 1970s. This round up is. There's no name panel on it, but it was called Destructor. It's owned by um, Richard Jennings. So we'll have to have a go on this one later. That's uh, credit for the channel. You got your good ducks down here. Swinging it round, look, look at it, you're dropping your bloody hammer now. Go on then, hit it. Show off. <laughs> right, let's quickly get in here because uh, there's been loads of kids on this, so I haven't been able to even take a photo of it. So here you go, and have a quick look at it. Yeah, poor old Wilson was up to clean this down earlier on. And we got the wife laughing her head off. <laughs> right, we won't get too close in on this one because we have got the kids on it. But yeah, it's quite a pretty looking uh, inflatable, this one. Yeah, I got an adult standing in front of the door, so that'll help you just have a quick look at it. Well, he thinks he's an adult. Who knows? He's he's got some sort of like weird bouncy ball in his hand. <laughs> Big kids will play, won't they, Tim? Right, it's food time. And they ain't cooked the bloody things. I told her half an hour ago as well, cook them onions and look at them. They're still bloody white. What are you doing? Cook them. <laughs> Burgers look nice though, folks. 
You can keep your cheese, you know, mate. Keep your cheese. Oh, we have got some nice onions under that burger, look. Display your burnt onions, they're the best ones. Got a few sweeties on here as well. Right, moving on round. Shooting gallery. And she's shy, she doesn't want to be on the video. You can sing. You can't, you can't sing. There you go, just uh, have your shots. Okay, cheers, Tom. Look the bug, she's making her eye pig's ear of this one. There you go, we have a winner. <laughs> Here he is, here's the man. We got the thumbs up for the channel. Chuck your balls at the... Uh, at your t here. Wolves have scored against Leicester away from home. That makes a change, Wolves bloody scoring. We're climbing up that table. Leicester City, you're going down. They'll probably go and win now, I've said that. Now, if you ever seen a kid shit himself, here yeah, we got the thumbs up. He's gonna do a runner though, I guarantee it, he'll be off. Should we go and chase, should we go and chase him? Yeah, come on. Let's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> watch him, watch him. Right, runaway train. Whose runaway train is this? It's Craig Jennings runaway train. Yeah, we saw this one earlier in the year, folks. <laughs> Not exactly monster trucks, but they're quite big. Right, hook your frogs. They ain't jumping today. Right, one other thing that we got down here, and you don't see it so often on the fun fairs these days. Chuck a few darts, and we've got goldfish. Now you don't see so many goldfish on the fairs these days, but the problem is, with the goldfish, you've got to have a hell of a lot of them to go eat your chips and curry sauce. She's laughing. <laughs> right, let's keep it going. We got some roast pork rolls around here.
chips with cheese, curry and gravy. Right, we're a bit busy on this one, so we can't go and uh, take the mickey out of the onions on that one. Right, Stephen Dobson, Ghost Train, built by uh, Supercar, uh, 1960s, but the, uh, the cars are actually a lot older than that. You're probably looking about 1940s, 1950s for the age of those uh, carts on that. How you doing, boss? All right? Yeah, we're the same. <laughs> well, I know, I didn't think I was going to come out. You've had a damn good turnout, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, the folks have really supported Tembury Wells. And that's the first time that I've ever been to a fair area. I didn't even know they had one. So, yeah, fair play to the locals. Welcome. They're certainly supporting it. There you go, let's have a look at them. Yeah. No, you're not going to get any gripes off me for those. That's looking proper. Yeah, you got your curry sauce as well. So, yep, this one certainly gets a pass. Yep, thumbs up for the channel from that one. I can't see any. Uh, Chilly, mind. What we got? Barbecue, mayo, American mustard. What we got around there? Ah, oh, no, it's just your tomato ketchup. Well, I've got it all over me bloody hands now, so hang on, well, I just lit me hands. Free, free sample. <laughs> yeah, your matty ketchup in your brown. So yeah, Stephen Dobbs has go straight. I was getting carried away with the sauce there. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thumbs up for the channel. <laughs> no, I don't remember seeing this baby here before. Good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. It's the dead of night and this spooky castle is in total darkness. Four riders will trundle along a winding track and be faced with all kinds of sudden ghostly goings on. Ooh, it's great fun for everyone! Ghost Train, Stephen Dobson. Show you the cars on this one, like I say. Quite old, these. today. Right, Craig Jennings, Dodgems, I think they're a Desco, these. Saw these earlier on in the year at a Dobson's fun fair. I think they were up in Maidley. 
Let's go and have a clamber. your info if you want to hire it. See Don Jennings first at gmail.com. He's photo bombing me. Have I got a lighter? Yeah, but it's knackered. You think I'm joking? He's look at him. He's he's only done this to make me wobble the bloody camera. That's, that's all it is. What the fork and spoon was that? <laughs> hey, that's a neat uh, thing for the channel, then, it? <laughs> yeah. Try that one. I don't know if that works. Or, yay! That one works. So we're not licking the onions anymore. We're, we're, lick, we're licking that bloody thing. <laughs> I've seen more now, buddy. <laughs> right, this thing does chuck out snow at you. Well, that was a bit bloody weak, wasn't it? <laughs> Blimey, I do better than that after I've had a couple of pints of cider. <laughs> Oh dear me, we're going to get banned from the YouTube. <laughs> Got the sun in a bloody horrible place just here, folks. Uh, like I say, there's your, uh, there's your info on that one. Right, and we are just about finished there, folks. Oh, I can't get round there. Plus I can go and sneak around this side and no I won't. So it'll be just my luck, I'm probably gonna get stuck. Right, okay. So we're nearly done down in um Tembury Wells. Now this is part of the uh, the marches fairs. Uh, the marches is the Welsh borders. Uh, and there's a series of fun fairs that'll be coming up in the very near future and they cover areas like Ludlow, Bishop's Castle, Leminster. We'll have the big fair on in uh, Hereford and of course there's this fair today down in uh, Tembury Wells. And they're not all the same uh, showmen that go to the different fairs so we'll tour around. I'm not promising that I can do all of them but I'll certainly have a go for you. Right, so we'll leave it there then, guys. Tembury Wells, Funfair Audit. Liking it, love it here. Find that subscribe button for us. And we'll see you. Here comes Wilson. All right, Will. Okay, folks, we're out of here. Cheers, guys.